All right guys, so we're gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to play Call of Duty Mobile early. This is the easiest way that I've come up with to actually get this game installed and play it successfully. I've personally tried different ways and it didn't work for me and I finally found this combination of a good emulator and also where to download this Call of Duty Mobile app from for this to work properly and for you guys to actually be able to play the game because the purpose of this tutorial is for you guys to actually enjoy and play this game in its beta. So let's start off here. First First, click the link below, download Blue Stacks. You're seeing me install it up on screen. Once you download this, you need to go to your browser, and you can do this probably in any order, but just do it the way I'm doing it here. Download Kiwi VPN. It's a free VPN service. You're gonna install it right there. You don't need to sign up for anything. You don't need to pay for anything. And then we'll go back to that later on. Now to get back to the main menu, click the little folder box icon, the bottom left corner of the screen. That's just how you pretty much use the emulator to get back to that main screen. You're gonna go there, go down below to the Chrome browser, and you're gonna look up, up to down, app and you're going to search that up you're going to go on the first link there and you're going to click download and you're going to download that you're going to open this app once it's finished installing you're going to go to games and you're going to scroll down from games you should see call of duty mobile right there at the top of the games list if not just search it up you're going to download call of duty mobile you should be able to download successfully and once you're done with that again make sure it's finished downloading click that little icon the bottom left corner of the screen go back to the home screen Go into Kiwi VPN. Pretty much all you need to do is click on the top where it says best choice. Scroll down to India. Click India. Let it load. Let it connect. Once it's done connecting, exit the app. Click that little uh, home screen icon again. Go to the main screen. If you want, you could go to the settings of this actual emulator and increase the graphics. It, depending on your computer, this is the part where it's just going to depend on your settings. If you guys have a good computer, I would definitely suggest doing what I'm doing up on screen this is just something that you're gonna have to mess around with and if you do get an error when you get into call of duty mobile that your graphics aren't sufficient enough for the game you know to go back to these settings and you know up the graphics so you can actually play this game but it's all depending on your personal computer so regardless go into call of duty mobile Now you're seeing up on screen, I actually have a bit of an error. I, I logged in successfully, but the screen is in the bottom left corner and it's messing up the way I'm clicking on the screen. So if this happens to you, like it did to me, just exit out of Call of Duty Mobile, go back in and it should work. Now, once you're in the game, obviously the keyboard settings are very important if you're playing this on the PC. One thing to note, you could just look at the keyboard settings. Every time Call of Duty Mobile loads up, it, it gives you a menu of all the settings. I would definitely make sure you let that pop up, either take a picture of it or let it pop up every time Call of Duty Mobile loads. But also a huge thing you need to know, which I've realized you need to click F1 to get into sort of this shooter mode when you're playing Call of Duty Mobile. So when you're playing this game, it acts as a mobile game so it wants you to click the screen but you can't click the screen so if you click F1 you're not gonna be able to click the screen because you move your mouse to move around like any other sort of shooter game on the PC but if you unclick F1 you click it again then you're in the mobile mode where you can actually click on the screen and click all the different icons so if you want to shoot and you want to play the game click F1 go into the shooter mode and you're obviously not in the mobile mode so you can move your mouse around to aim and then you can do WASD to actually move around but if you want to click something on the screen like if there's an icon that you want to actually touch that as you would on a phone but you can't because you're on a computer unclick f1 and then you'll go into a sort of the normal mobile mode and out of the shooter mode so that's very important for you guys to do and that's pretty much that so thank you guys for watching definitely leave your comments below if you have any issues with you know installing the emulator installing call of duty mobile computer issues it's a bit more difficult because obviously i don't know everyone's specific computer settings and if you if your computer isn't just you know sufficient enough to play this game or if there's issues with that then there's nothing really much i can do but i really want to help you guys actually play this game and yeah so thank you guys for watching did enjoy it's pretty much it i'll see you guys later goodbye